Out of respect for the indigenous people of Manitoba, we at Dana McIntyre and the Nipe School Division recognize that the school we attend resides in Treaty 1 land, known as First Nations Territory, as well as the homeland of the Métis Nation. Good morning, graduates, family, friends, and staff. I'm Mrs. Alaga, and I'll be your MC for today. On behalf of the DMCI admin team and staff, we would like to welcome you to this year's virtual grad ceremony. Although it is not the event that we pictured, we still want to take the opportunity this morning to celebrate and honor the class of 2020. As a fellow alum, this moment always brings fond memories and we hope that you will be able to look back with a smile on your face and know that you have reached this milestone in your life. Today is bittersweet, but as you view the ceremony from your homes, know that our hearts are with you and we applaud you for your accomplishments. Now, to begin our ceremony, we present the DMCI Grad Choir singing O Canada, followed by greetings from Trustee Jennifer Chen and remarks from our principal, Mr. Belmore. O Canada, Hello students, families and friends. My name is Jennifer Chen. I'm the trustee for Ward 6. I'm very happy to join you today and bring greetings on behalf of the board in celebration of your achievements. I know that the last few months have been very different to you. You put a lot of effort towards this moment. Your families, teachers, school staff and principal are extremely proud of you and I along with the other trustees are proud of you as well. I wish you continued success in the coming years. Thank you so much for your hard work and dedication. Congratulations, felicitations, felicidades. Zhuhe ni men xue ye you chen, chukmun, mabruk, ataharosh, binabati kokayo sanyo patatapos. As we arrive at the close of the 2019-2020 school year, I wish to extend my heartfelt thanks to our caring staff, students, parents, and supportive community members that have made our challenging school year so successful. You, the class of 2020, represent the 98th Daniel McIntyre graduation class and by far the most unique class that had to follow a never seen before path to achieve this goal of graduation. Your high school graduation is perhaps the first big milestone of your life. It is a rite of passage when you transform from childhood into the real world. But no one could have imagined the profound changes that have upended the class of 2020's final days of the school year. I apologize that the pandemic means we could not follow the traditional model, nor are you able to share big group hugs, high fives, or cheer on your successes of person but you've had the opportunity to learn from this disappointment, it may also teach you a very valuable life lesson not to take anything for granted. To know that things can and will change all the time. The world out there can be incredibly difficult and things do not always work out as planned and plans change all the time. You have shown the resiliency necessary to overcome this difficult challenge that you face to achieve this goal and in doing so, you have made every person in your life marvel at your dedication and adaptability that you have demonstrated. Your perseverance and your tenacity are what people will remember. It's not that you will fall, because we all know everybody falls. It's how you got back up 
and you continue to get back up, refusing to give up on your dreams and aspirations. And for this, you have earned an admiration before unknown. The story of each of our graduates involves an account of tenacity, dedication, creativity, and resiliencies. These are the necessary skills needed in order to achieve this goal of graduation. Graduation is a milestone on life. It is a moment in time that will forever define you, defining who you are and where you come from. This achievement is a goal that you've been pursuing since you first wandered into your kindergarten class. Achieving this goal will stand you in good stead as you make your way through life. It is often said the proudest person in the school is the principal, and the students, staff, and community make this principal as proud as possible. I've had a distinct honor of being the principal of DMCI for eight amazing years. Over this time, I've marveled at the academic accomplishments, athletic successes, and our performing arts accolades from across the country, but none so much as this year. The accomplishments occur only because of the hard work and perseverance of our students, staff, and community. As you graduate from DMCI, you've joined a fraternity as the 98th class to do so. You are a lifelong proud alumnus of what you know is a great institution. Maroon Pride is known far and wide as a pride in our accomplishments and the fierce loyalty to Daniel McIntyre. Wherever your future travels of life take you, you will sooner or later share a common bond with a person you have just met. They suddenly transform from a stranger into a member of your family. This kindred spirit is based upon the pride you both share in being an alumnus of this outstanding institution. For although we graduate apart today, the class of 2020 share an exclusive bond that makes your class stand alone as the most challenged, resourceful, and united class of all. For although we share a common alumnus bond with those who came before and after us, you will have a special relationship with those who graduated here today with you. After the ceremony today, my graduates, you step into your futures. This unknown future is where you will spend the rest of your lives. So look at it, plan for it carefully. The real power of creating and being responsible for your own future is unlimited. From now on, you decide the college or university courses you will take, where you stay, the lectures you will attend, how hard you will study, your eventual career, your partner, and where you will live. You will experience enormous joy in creating your own life and enjoying the benefits of it. Of course, there will be challenges ahead, but when you're determined to succeed, you will handle anything that gets in your way. You will also decide what kind of person you will be, have a vision of what it is you most desire in your life and take all the steps necessary to obtain this goal. In other words, dream, dream big. It is these dreams that will take the place of your parents and teachers in guiding your life into the successes you seek. What is, do what is necessary to support these dreams. As author David Brooks stated, success leads to the greatest failure, which is arrogance and immodesty. Failure can lead to the greatest success which is humility and learning. In order to fulfill yourself, you have to forget yourself. In order to find yourself, you have to lose yourself. I hope that in your quest for success, the failures you no doubt face go on to develop you into even more of a person who is kind, caring, and gives freely to others. I believe that route will give you the happiest life. Remember, my friends, over 12 years ago, the school system first met you. You came to us as eager, fresh-faced children, excited with the prospect of first going to school. Your parents brought you to us to pass on the knowledge of the ages to you. They entrusted us with their most valuable treasure, to teach, to help develop into strong young adults that our nation requires. You came to us eager to learn, ready to absorb the knowledges that we were sharing with you. Over your time with us, you have shown extreme patience, dedication, and determination as we led you through the stages of learning. We now stand at the end of this shared journey with us. So my students, as you embark on a new chapter of your life, always remember that learning does not only occur inside of a classroom. As Henry L. Doherty said, be a student for as long as you have something to learn, and this will mean you'll be a student for the rest of your life. Every experience in life will teach you something. You just need to keep an open mind and open heart to see what lessons the world has to offer. 
I would love to have the ability to guarantee a good life for each of you, but that is beyond anyone's control, anyone but yourself. You are now in charge of your lives, and the lessons and guidance that you have been given to you by those close to you will serve you in good stead. I would like to thank the parents for giving us such a terrific group of young people from whom to work with, and to thank my fellow teachers and support staff for supporting an intellectually stimulating environment in which to work, to learn, and for giving our students the best education around. And to the stars of our show, the 2020 graduating class, no matter which path you have chosen at this time, be it post-secondary or career, I wish you the single most important factor to a happy, successful future, and that is good luck and the persistence to make your own luck. Thank you very much. Now we would like to present the valedictory address. This year's valedictorian is Michaela Santos. Good morning, Daniel McIntyre staff, Mr. Belmore, Ms. Davidson, Mrs. Franzen, Mr. Buller, teachers, special guests, parents, and most importantly, the stars, the graduating class of 2020. So this is new. If you don't know me, hi, I'm Michaela. We went to high school together for a bit, and I am your first ever DMCI virtual valedictorian. Just for a second or two, I want you to picture your grade 10 self. Hideous, I know. But imagine telling them that this is how we were going to graduate. Man, they wouldn't believe us for a second. We said that 2020 would have been one for the history books, and now we have to take that literally. One piece of advice that I wish we could have given them would be to make every year count, and not just senior year, and that we should take advantage of the best time of our lives. Because I'm going to be the first to admit that I don't really remember much, and I took my high school days for granted. So it's the little things I look back at, like the struggles of pre-Cal 11, people's speakers blaring in the halls and in the cafeteria. I remember the book points, the no-cent policy, and how I never won a single game of Smash during spares. I remember you guys the friends who I called my second family and the halls that we called our second home. I remember writing my first memoir, an English lit about growing old, because we all thought about it. You watch these coming of age movies and romanticize what it's like to be all grown up. And we thought that everything would fall into place senior year. And so we waited for that magical moment where we'd learn to deal with everything life would hit you with and become a true adult. Of course, that isn't the case, and we learned that we have to be kids for a little while longer, and half of us wouldn't be considered grown up until we were 40. But man, I felt like we aged an extra 10 years by April. Because you all felt it, right? How time stopped in March? First week of isolation, you learned what true independence was, because rather than three more months to transition, COVID kind of just kicked you out the door and tossed you the suitcase. And with all that free time, we were able to feel, to process, and embrace what has happened to us. Because you may think that you are selfish for believing that this pandemic had taken memories away from you ones that you can't recreate. But it's true that this, what's happening right now, it isn't fair. But it's reality, and you're allowed to own that. But sooner or later, you'll realize that this pandemic can't take memories away from you. It cannot take away who you are and what you've accomplished. You did not waste 12 years of your life just to stop here. This year was one of the hardest things you've yet to face and you deserve to celebrate. Of course, we can't take all the credit. Thank you to the teachers, staff and administration. It was thanks to you that we could still learn and prepare ourselves for the future. 
We acknowledge everything you've done for us, and we cannot thank you enough. And thank you to the families who kept us company throughout this difficult time. It was the thanks to your love that we were able to push through the rest of our senior year. And we thank you, and we love you with all our hearts. <laughs> See, now this is the part where as your valedictorian, I say that we have our whole lives ahead of us. And that has never been more true. You've learned so much in these four years, and you have years, years ahead of you to learn, and years to make everything right, and to make mistakes and to grow from them. And I'm so proud of you guys. I'm proud of this diverse group of friends and peers that I've grown to love, respect, and admire. I'm proud of your accomplishments, your dedication, but most importantly, your resilience. Because the world will not underestimate your passion and commitment. We are the paradigm shift the world has needed. Because we watch the bad examples. We learned the world's, we learned from the world's flaws. And we're not just living through a pandemic. We're living through a historical social revolution. We are fighting for equality and justice and basic human rights. And no matter what, you aren't reading the history books anymore. You're writing them. And I wish nothing but the best of you. The graduating class of 2020. Thank you for the most memorable year. <laughs> we'll see each other again soon. Congratulations. You made it. Thank you. We will now have the passing of the torch. Seda Lou and Devon O'Hara are co-presidents and Vinny Martinez are incoming president. We, the co-presidents of the student body and the representatives of the graduating class of Dan McIntyre Collegiate, carry this torch as a symbol, a symbol of knowledge. As it was placed in a shield, it became the emblem of our school, a symbol of our ideas and aspirations. This emblem and all that it signifies has now been placed in your care. May, May the, the torch, torch continue to light your way into, into the future, future and the, the emblem inspire you in every endeavor. endeavor. As the incoming president and representative of the grade 9s, 10s, and 11s, accept the responsibility of being dynamites and of maintaining the tradition established by the ones who graduated before us. We will strive to keep this flame aglow and to bear the emblem proudly, as we know that only the best anymore is good enough for ourselves and our school. And now we will present our honorable recipients. For the honor roll, to recognize those students who achieved a minimum of six marks-based courses with an overall average of at least 80% with no single mark below 70%. This year's honor roll is Anissa Adam, Stanley Arches, Kenneth Campbell, King Cartagena, Yogesh Chicheri, Gabriel Zachi Coloma, Reina de Guzman, Kyla Fauni, Amber Flores, Natnel Gebramariam, Fuang Nyang Ho, Meridel Alagan, Ken Jimeno, Herco Joba, Lorniza Juarez, Logan Lacuna, Christian Lajarzo, Seda Elizabeth Liu, Jamie Marquez, Logan Martins, Marie Maderwa, Benite Makunda, Ainsley Noonan Kaster, Justice Pangan, Winona Panganiban, Teo Peralta, Amy Pham, Anne Fan, Rianne Radovan, Steffi Remonte, Tyler Reyes, Castle Rivera, Colleen Santos, Anthony Tabion, 
Christine Torres, V. Trung, Danica Valenzuela, Duke Miguel Villaforte, and Dai Vo. Next, we will present the honor roll with distinction to recognize those students who have achieved a minimum of six marks based courses with an overall average above 90% with no single mark below 80%. This year's honor roll with distinction are Devon O'Hara, April Barcega, Jobel Balon, Lee Duong, Patricia Isma, Jasmine Espiritu, Lyra Fakuri, Keen Francisco, Ella Guevara, Anastasia Hernandez, Lizzie Ho, T. Hong Holly, Ernestina Madriaga, Francis Manlupic, Vincent Maula, Roseanne Omana, Joshua Salisi, Michaela Santos, Gab Saria, Angeline Siguente, Sophia Sosa, Jimmy Tran, and Eliana Villarin. Honor Roll Achievement. To recognize those students who have achieved Honor Roll or Honor Roll with Distinction for every semester from grade 10 through grade 12 at DMCI. This year's Honor Roll Achievement recipients are Devon O'Hara, Reina de Guzman, Lee Duong, Jasmine Espiritu, Kyla Fauni, Keen Francisco, Ella Guevara, Anastasia Hernandez, Maridel Elagan, Ken Jimeno, Herka Joba, Lorniza Juarez, Logan Lacuna, Seda Elizabeth Liu, Ernestina Madriaga, Francis Manlupig, Vincent Maula, Benite Macunda, Steffi Raymonte, Tyler Reyes, Joshua Salisi, Gab Saria, Angeline Sigente, Sophia Sosa, and Jimmy Tran. Congratulations, DMCI Honor Roll recipients. Now we would like to present our award recipients. For our first award, we would like to present the Winnipeg School Division Book Awards. These are presented by the Winnipeg School Division to recognize graduating students with high academic achievement. And the 12 recipients are King Cartagena, Lira Fakuri, Ella Guevara, Bao Ngoc Ho, Jessica Liu, Andrea Montalan, Roseanne Omana, Hannah Paragas, Amy Pham, Michaela Santos, Sophia Sosa, and Dai Dai Vo. Our next award is the Maroon and White Scholarship. This is presented by Daniel McIntyre Collegiate Institute to recognize a graduating student with high academic achievement who has made an overall contribution to the school. And the recipient is Jasmine Espiritu. The Paula Levin Award, presented by Daniel McIntyre Collegiate Institute to a graduating student with the highest overall average in grade 12 science, including biology, chemistry, and physics. And the recipient is Ernestina Madriaga. Our next award is the Elaine Heineke Award for Women in Business. This is presented by the Heineke family to a female graduating student who is attending post-secondary education in business at the University of Manitoba. And the recipient is Angeline Sigente. The MLA Citizenship Awards are presented by the MLA Malaya Marcelino to recognize a graduating student who volunteers, demonstrates good citizenship, and is a positive role model in the community. This year's recipient is Joshua Salisi. The Member of Parliament Canadian Studies Award. 
This is presented by Lee Gazin, Member of Parliament for Winnipeg Centre. To recognize a graduating student with high academic achievement in Canadian studies, including history and geography. And the recipient is Stephanie Habate. The Suche Gossen Foundation Scholarship. This is presented by the Suche Gossen Foundation to recognize a graduating student who is committed to education and is involved in the school and the greater community. The recipient is Vincent Maula. Welcome Hand Scholarship. This is presented by the Suche Gossen Foundation to recognize a graduating student not born in Canada who is committed to education and is involved in the school and the greater community. The recipient is Seda Liu. The City of Winnipeg Leadership Award. This is presented by the City of Winnipeg to recognize a graduating student who has made a contribution to community service through volunteering. And the recipient is Rayanne Diaz. Post-secondary scholarships to recognize graduating students whose academic achievements have garnered them entrance scholarships at the institutions to which they have applied. And the recipients are for the University of Winnipeg, Reham Abdullah, Lee Duong, Bao Ngoc Ho, Andrea Montalan, Tolu Oladele, Joshua Salisi, J.M. Santillan, Michaela Santos, and Colleen Santos. Post-secondary scholarships for the University of Manitoba. The recipients are Devon O'Hero, Miguel Delisai, Jasmine Espiritu, Lira Fakuri, Keen Francisco, Ella Guevara, Anastasia Hernandez, Kirko Joba, Jessica Liu, Ernestina Madriaga, Francis Manlupig, Vincent Maula, Eunice Malar, Roseanne Omana, Hannah Paragas, Arlija Radovan, Matthew Rains, Steffi Ramonte, Joshua Salisi, Nicole Sornes, Sophia Sosa, Miku Tibule, and Long Juan Tran. The Red River College Partners in Education Scholarship, presented by Red River College and Daniel McIntyre Collegiate Institute to recognize a graduating student with reasonable academic standing who is accepted into a program at Red River College. And the recipient is Armina Castro. The Winnipeg Teachers Association Scholarship, presented by the Winnipeg Teachers Association to a graduating student who has exhibited outstanding citizenship and is enrolled in post-secondary education. And the recipient is Devon O'Hara. The Chown Centennial Scholarship, presented by the University of Manitoba to a graduating student with an overall average over 85% and attending post-secondary education at the University of Manitoba. And the recipient is Francis Manlupig. Graduating Athlete Award of Distinction, presented by the DMCI Physical Education Department to graduating athletes who have demonstrated outstanding contributions to DMCI athletics over their three years at DMCI and have had a positive influence on the culture and community of the school. Students must have strong athletic achievement while demonstrating great leadership on and off the court. They must have participated in a minimum of two sports in each of grade 10 and 11 and one sport in grade 12. And the recipients are Stanley Arches, Bethany Balaxis, Steffi Remonte, Hans Tolentino, and Vanessa y Yulung. The Barry Anderson DMCI Alumni Choir Award, presented by Dino McIntyre Collegiate Institute Alumni Choir to a graduating student who is pursuing a career in music. And the recipient is 
Shania Ocampo. The Sherman Himmelblau Memorial Award, presented by Daniel McIntyre Collegiate Institute to a graduating student who is involved in music and drama and exhibits strong leadership skills. And the recipient is Peter Weiss. William J.S. Brown Scholarship, presented by Daniel McIntyre Collegiate Institute to a graduating student with high academic standing who is pursuing further studies in music. And the recipient is April Barsega. Joe Uggams Award, presented by alumnus Joe Uggams to two graduating students with high academic standing who participated in interscholastic athletics and are attending post-secondary education. And the recipients are Gracie Batongbakal and Stanley Arches. The Winnipeg Hawkeyes Scholarship, presented by the Winnipeg School Division to a graduating football player who shows leadership, personal growth, scholastic endeavors, and is enrolled as a full-time student in a post-secondary institution in the fall. And the recipient is Lee Duong. Emergent Biosolutions Award. Presented by Emergent Biosolution to a graduating student who is a Canadian citizen, maintains high academic standing in science, demonstrates outstanding commitment to their local community, and is attending post-secondary education. And the recipient is Devon O'Hara. The Johan Generau Award, presented by alumnus Johan Generau to a graduating student who is pursuing post-secondary education in the area of arts or graphic arts. And the recipient is Megan Sevilla. Alumni Merit Awards, presented by the DMCI Alumni Association to graduating students with high academic achievement in each of the different subject areas. And the recipients are, for social studies, Jobel Baylon. For mathematics, Camille Cameron. For language arts, Reham Abdullah. For music, Tyler Reyes. For business education, Gab Saria. For art, Patricia Eisma. For Physical Education and Health, Ernestina Madriaga. For Science, Matthew Raines. For Human Ecology, Ariane Yanto. For Industrial Arts, Diego Alfaro. For English as an Additional Language, Hamida Shaiko. For Dance, Kenneth Campbell. The Alumni 75th Anniversary Scholarship, presented by the DMCI Alumni Association to a graduating student who has made a unique contribution to the school and is attending post-secondary education. And the recipient is Steffi Remonte. Women of Distinction Award, presented by the DMCI Alumni Class of 1968 to 1971 to a female graduating student who embodies the principles of Daniel McIntyre Collegiate and is attending post-secondary education. And the recipient is Jobel Balon. Congratulations on receiving this award. It means you have been selected as an outstanding student, embodying the spirit of what it means to be a true Daniel McIntyre student and graduate. This award was established by a group of women who graduated in the years 1968 to 71. We are still very much connected to each other and to DMCI. We are proud of you and wish you well in whatever area of study you decide to pursue. Daniel McIntyre Alumni Scholarship, presented by the DMCI Alumni Association to a graduating student with reasonable academic standing who is attending post-secondary education. And the recipient is Seda Liu. The Daniel McIntyre Technical Vocational Scholarship, presented by David Rich and Jareth Gronsky 
to a graduating student with good academic standing who is attending technical vocational post-secondary education. And the recipient is Armina Castro. The Henry and Doreen Bennigan Scholarship, presented by the Winnipeg Foundation to a graduating student with high academic standing and proficiency in mathematics and community involvement who is attending post-secondary education. And the recipient is Gab Saria. The William and Jean Mahar Bursary, presented by the Winnipeg Foundation to a graduating student of Indigenous ancestry who is attending post-secondary education. And the recipient is Connor Cromer. The DMCI Centennial Scholarship, presented by the Winnipeg Foundation to a graduating student with high academic standing who has made an overall contribution to the school and is attending post-secondary education. And the recipient is Vincent Maula. Jack Johnson Memorial Football Scholarship, presented by the Johnson family to a graduating student who has made a contribution to the DMCI football program, exhibited good sportsmanship and recognized self-development, and is attending post-secondary education. And the recipient is Kirash Kusha. George Taylor Spirit of Leadership Award, presented by McClure Place Incorporated to a graduating student with academic excellence who demonstrates leadership in the school and community and is attending post-secondary education. And the recipient is Joshua Salisi. Tri Scholar Scholarship presented by Tao Gamma Phi to a graduating student who has arrived in Canada from the Philippines within the last two years and is attending post-secondary education. Tao Gamma Phi, also known as tri Scallions Grand Fraternity, was established in 1968 at the University of the Philippines, the premier institution of higher learning in the country. Since its establishment, the organization and its counterpart sorority, Tau Gamma Sigma, have distinguished themselves in campus politics and social development work. Alumni organizations has also been established in many countries. In 2008, alumni chapters from major cities in Canada formed to create the Can Canada National Council. Today, there are 15 regional councils found in various provinces all over Canada. Eight years ago, in partnership with Daniel McIntyre Collegiate, Tal Gamma Phi started offering the Tri Scholar Award to a deserving graduate student with full or partial Filipino parentage. Today, Tau Gamma Phi remains committed to supporting students that embody the criteria required of a Tri Scholar. Apart from this commitment, the Tri Scholar Award is made more meaningful as a scholarship that will be awarded today is funded with proceeds from the Adante Aquino Memorial Fishing Derby, a former chairman of Tri Scallion's Grand Fraternity and Sorority of Manitoba Regional Council. Finally, I would like to congratulate the class of 2020 and with great pleasure and honor, I present this year's Tri Scholar Award to Francis Villanueva. CGC Award of Merit, presented by the Winnipeg School Division Clinical Support Services to a graduating student who has overcome personal hardship in order to successfully complete high school. The CGC Award of Merit was established in 2011 in commemoration of 60 years of service to children and families in the community. Awards of Merit are presented to graduating high school students in the Winnipeg School Division who have shown resilience and determination in the face of adversity. This year's recipient of the Daniel McIntyre Collegiate Child Guidance Clinic Award of Merit is a very caring and compassionate individual whose strength is connecting with people. This graduate has a curious mind and her life lessons and willingness to take advice, adapt and overcome have led to the, to the successes she has experienced. One of her plans is to attend Nipiwin Bible College in the fall. It is our pleasure on behalf of the Award of Merit Committee to present this award to and congratulate Raylynn Beaton. John Lawler Memorial Scholarship presented by the Lawler family to a graduating student who has completed the English as an additional language program 
and is attending post-secondary education. And the recipient is Ole de Terriot. Douglas Todd Memorial Award, presented by the Todd family to a graduating student with high academic standing with an interest in flying or engineering and is attending post-secondary education. And the recipient is Joshua Lozada. The Douglas Todd Memorial Award was established 26 years ago in 1994 through the generosity of Mrs. Jessie Todd, a resident of Home Street, in honor of her only son, Douglas. Congratulations, Joshua, on receiving this award. Good luck in all your future studies. Beverly Wong Memorial Scholarship, presented by the Wong family to a graduating student with good academic standing, good citizenship, and an interest in early childhood education. And the recipient is Patricia Aizma. John Hatcher Award, presented by Daniel McIntyre Collegiate Institute to a graduating student with good academic standing who has made an overall contribution to the school. And the recipient is Lorniza Juarez. Takahiro Yamashita Memorial Bursary, presented by Daniel McIntyre Collegiate Institute to a graduating student with good academic standing who has shown strong school participation. And the recipient is Anastasia Hernandez. DMCI Awards, presented by Daniel McIntyre Collegiate Institute to two graduating students with high academic achievement. And the recipients are Nicole Sornez and Eunice Millar. DMCI Maroon Awards, presented by Daniel McIntyre Collegiate Institute to two graduating students with high academic achievement. And the recipients are T. Hong Ha Lee and Kwok Hong Nguyen. Walter and Maria Schroeder Scholarships for Red River College. Presented by the Walter and Maria Schroeder Foundation to three graduating students with high academic achievement who are attending post-secondary education at Red River College. And the recipients are Cassandra Carrillo for Digital Media Design. Lorraine Fernandez for Culinary Arts. Charles Pangat for Culinary Arts. Walter and Maria Schroeder Scholarships for the University of Manitoba. Presented by the Walter and Maria Schroeder Foundation to two graduating students with high academic achievement who are attending post-secondary education at the University of Manitoba. Keen Francisco for engineering. Aliana Villarin for the Asper School of Business. Winnipeg School Division Scholarship, presented by the Winnipeg School Division to a graduating student with high academic achievement who is attending post-secondary education. And the recipient is Ernestina Madriaga. Governor General's Medal, presented by the Governor General of Canada to the graduating student with the highest overall grades, 11 and 12 average in the class. And the recipient is Ernestina Madriaga. McIntyre Medal, presented by Daniel McIntyre Collegiate Institute to a graduating student with high academic achievement and outstanding citizenship. This year's recipient is Joshua Salisi. We want to congratulate all our award winners for their amazing achievement. We will now have the presentation of diplomas presented by Mr. Shane and Ms. Brown. Kirtland Abaga. Fartun Abdi. Hanan Abdi. Sukra Abdi. Riham Abdullah. Anisa Adam. Kings Abangbi. Mary Alba. Luigi Alcantara. Diego Alfaro. 
Joseph Amaya Ramirez, Stanley Arches, Jomari Arcilla, Juana Arias, Bana Atalkti, Devon O'Hara, Yana Bakanova, Bethany Blaxis. April Barsega Madeline Barnes Nene Berry Gracie Batongbakal Jobel Balon Matthew Besa Raylan Beaton Adrian B.I. Farron Bits, Victoria Botello, Rana Brimo, AJ Brockwell, Gabriel Caligagan, Kenneth Campbell, Camille Cameron, Jaden Cameron. Cassandra Carrillo, Kenzie Carpenter, King Cartagena, Franco Casas, Patricia Castanaga, Armina Castro, Rayan Castro, James. Katakutan, Yogesh Chirtri, Eric Chen, Jonathan Chipolata, Cheyenne Cockrell, Gabriel Coloma, Benedict Cardillo, Anna Kotako. Marcus Corshane Lafort, Connor Cromer, Hannah Kunanen, Mahil Dahir, Miguel Dalisai, Julianne Damaso, Romeo De Quil, Josh De Castro. Reina de Guzman, Ole Dietirov, Romel Del Moral, Kian De La Cruz, Rafael De La Cuesta, Carlos De Los Reyes, Alyssa De Los Santos, Christian. Demonoy, Rianne Diaz, Mandy Diang, CJ Dekuzin, Lee Duong, Amber Easter, Patricia Isma, Alyssa Ellison. Jasmine Espiritu, J.C. Espiritu, Lyra Fakuri, Kyla Fawney, Shiana Fawcett, Trixie Feliciano, Lorraine Fernandez, Echo Ferrer. Isaiah Festillo, Andre Figueroa, Amber Flores, Ryan Flores, Cole Fontaine, 
Jedo Francisco Keen Francisco Kara Garant Abil Gebramarian Naknal Gebramarian Helen Gebra Medin Angel Guevara Ella Guevara Isabel Gutierrez Skylar Ha May Helmy Alicia Hemans Anastasia Hernandez Verna May Hernandez Abdimalik Hir Hussein Bao Ngok Ho Fuang Ngan Ho Pa Sa Ang Sa Yu Tu Jia Huin Ngo Bao Han Huin Christine Elagan Maridel Elagan Mark Isip Eric Jackman Abdi Jama Stephanie Havate Ken Himeno Herko Joba Lorniza Juarez Stephen Kang Hartnett Josh Kingai Miriam Kinrath Kirash Kusha Jeremy Chilaganza Logan Lacuna Tang Trung Lee T. Hong Ha Lee Camille Ledesma Christian Lejarzo Rovic Lim Miguel Lingal Hannah Lobo Seda Lu Joshua Lazada Jessica Liu Hakimi Luangrath Sheila Lee Ernestina Madriaga Ron Magat Daphne Magno Crystal Malig Anthony Manansala Carla Jane Manansala Francis Manlupig Francie Moranen Jamie Marquez Cody Marsden Luke Marsden Joaquin Martinez Logan Martins Vincent Maula Emily McKay Lorana McLeod Camille Mendoza Joseph Moretti Eunice Millar Mezbel Mohammed Yakub Mohammed Ayan Mahamud Rama Mahamud Mohammed Mohammed Noor Andrea Montalan Evergreen Moo Marie Madurwa 
Beneath Akunda, Carl Nabo, Franco Narciso, Trung Duck Ngo, Ha Fuang An Nguyen, Hugh Kwok Thang Nguyen, Hyun Fuk Nguyen, Kwok Hung Nguyen, Tai An Tuyet Nguyen, Ainsley Noonan Kester, Farhio Noor Mohammed, Shania Ocampo, Tulu Oladeli, Amy Olson, Roseanne Omana, David Oshalaja, Justice Pangan, Winona Panganiban, Charles Pangat, A.C. Paradero, Hannah Paragas, Joshua Paris, Miko Pasco, Teo Peralta, Gia Perez, Amy Pham, Tuan Tang Pham. T. Min An Fan Yen Mi Kwan Rian Radovan Gino Raval Matthew Rains Courtney Ricosana Steffi Ramonte Tyler Reyes Cassell Rivera, Braden Robinson, Nathaniel Rodriguez, Jonathan Ross, Rafiki Rungo, John Sadova, Ayub Saleh, Saber Saleh. Rayan Saleh, Joshua Salisi, John Salonga, Kent San Jose, JM Santalan, Colleen Santos, Michaela Santos, Gab Saria. Angeline Sequente, Megan Sevilla, Hamida Shako, Carla Sio, Chris Ann Saipat, Nezer Solomon, Louis Soriaga, Nina. Soriano, Nicole Sornez, Sofia Sosa, Nicole St. Germain, Trevor St. Germain, Chantel Stanton, Musu Suarli, Anthony Tabion. Gabriel Tabion, Fatima Tahir, Rhiannon Tate, Josh Teano, Pauline Terse, Miku Tibuli, Vaughn Tipones. Hans Tolentino, Christine Torres, 
Annie Tran Jimmy Tran Tanika Travers Vai Truong Eduardo Truria Thomas Tutor Danica Valenzuela Duke Miguel Villafuerte Francis Lorenz Villanueva Franz Villanueva Eliana Villarin Dwight Vitor Dai Dai Vo Asia Weaselhead Peter Weiss Jolo Welgas Paolo Wong Vanessa Yalung Ariane Yanto Ivan Yanto And now we stand at the end of our shared journey and the beginning of a journey that will take you through the rest of your life. The horizon of your future is expanding before you and you've chosen to be equipped with the best information and strategies to ensure that this future is filled with many successes. Remember Daniel McIntyre Collegiate Institute as fondly as we will remember you. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honor to introduce to you the class of 2020. Congratulations to the class of 2020.